We'll bring you the latest both on air and online at goodforutah.com. Big time drug busts in Utah and California have put a dent into illegal drug dealing business, at least for a while. More than $2 million worth of drugs, cars and weapons were taken off the streets, including a couple of live grenades. Good for Utah's Jason Wynn has a story. Police believe the Salt Lake Valley was the final destination for over 23 pounds of meth and six pounds of heroin. Last week, police raided a home in West Valley City. It was the moment officers were waiting for. When we hit that residence, we recovered 22 pounds of heroin, a pound of cocaine, some U.S. currency, and five vehicles that had hidden compartments in them. Four of those cars had Utah plates. One was from California. Officers found several fake IDs on that raid. Police say some of those belong to 38-year-old Anthony Aguilera. Officers caught up with him over Labor Day weekend in Midvale. They say he had more drugs and two live grenades. At that time, we had no idea that there were grenades in that room. We had none of that information at all. The manager at the Staybridge Suites wouldn't go on camera, but he did tell me that there was a number of guests that were concerned about the two grenades inside the hotel. Fire personnel carefully removed the grenades to avoid setting them off. Investigators were able to connect the packaged drugs from West Valley and Midvale back to a home in Stockton, California. You'll only see these pictures on Good For Utah. They, they recovered 11 pounds of cocaine, a marijuana grow, $30,000 in U.S. currency, and a truck that was equipped with multiple hidden compartments similar to those that we had already seized here in Utah. In all, officers seized 29 pounds of heroin, 12 pounds of cocaine, 23 pounds of methamphetamine, a marijuana grow house, $40,000 in cash, guns, and two live grenades across two states. Investigators are not letting go of that Stockton connection because they believe that a drug cartel is involved with all of these weapons and drugs. We'll stay on top of this story for you as it moves forward. I'm Jason Wynn in Salt Lake City. Good for Utah. All right, Jason. Aguilera is in jail right now, by the way. He was wanted in Utah for unrelated charges as well, so police say he'll not have to answer to those charges along with federal and state crimes for drug and weapons trafficking. All right, new tonight, Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office finds an officer